A basic skill in using PowerPoint 2010 is the ability to create a text slide. Now a text slide is probably the most commonly used slide in PowerPoint 2010 and this video shows you how you go about putting text into, into a, to a slide, how you go about changing the indentation level of your slide as you're working as, as well. Enjoy today's video. I'm in PowerPoint 2010 and I want to demonstrate to you in this video how you go about starting a presentation using PowerPoint. Just during this video, I'll show you how you do a title slide and how you do a couple of title and text slides. So right now I have a title slide in front of me. I'm just going to click to add a title in the spot that it tells me to do so. I'm going to type in the title of this presentation. Pretty basic, my presentation. I'll click to add a subtitle and I'll just type in my first and last name. And I have my small mistake here. I have my first slide now completed. What I want to do now is do another slide in my presentation. So I'll take my mouse up to the ribbon. I'll go to the arrow part of the new slide button and click. I get nine different layouts to work with. In this video, I'm going to only focus on the title and content type of slide. I'll click on that. It takes me into slide number two. Now I can see down here it says slide two of two. I can see over here on the slide panel it shows me I have two slides in my presentation. I'm going to click to add a title and I'll type in the word slides. Now. I have a number of choices I could do with this kind of a slide and for this video I'll be doing just straight text but I also could if I chose to do a table slide, a chart slide, a smart art slide, a slide that contained a movie clip or clip art or a picture. I'll click add text. Now as soon as I start to type here these icons will all disappear. We have already did a title slide in this video so I type in the word title. I'll touch enter on my keyboard. The next thing I'll be doing is a, primarily a text slide. But I also could do a chart slide. All I'm doing is I'm just typing, I'm touching enter on my keyboard, a title slide, and other slides. Now if I touch enter in this case here, I'm going to get another bullet point. But this bullet point will disappear because there, there no, there's no text next to it. So I click outside the dotted line, which is called the placeholder. I now have a title, and I now have a, a, my second slide completed that has five major points on five bullet points on it. We now have two slides created. I want to create a third slide. I'll go back to the arrow part of the new slide button. Again, I'll click on title and content. I'll click to add a title. There are different views you can work in in Microsoft PowerPoint. So this slide will talk about those different views. I'll click to add a title. There's the normal view, which is what I'm in right now. I'll touch enter again on my keyboard. There's the sorter or slide sorter view. I'll touch enter. And there's the show view. And when I'm finished, I'll click outside the placeholder. I now have my third slide completed. I want to do one more slide. Go back up again to the new slide button. Click on title and content. I'll click to add a title. And this time I'll call this slide changing levels. And I'll click to add text. And my major, my first point on here is quality service. So I type that in and I touch enter. Now, different on this slide here, what I want to do now is I want to have this next point to look like a subpoint of quality service. I want to indent this. Now, right now, the size of the font I'm working with is size 32. So, to do an indentation, in other words, to make the next point a subpoint on my keyboard, all I'll do is I'll touch the tab button and they'll indent my point for me. It'll change the bullet shape to a different shape, in this case, a dash. And it brings the font down to size 28. Part of a quality service is having excellent people. So the font's a little bit smaller. I'll touch enter again on my keyboard. I'm at the same level of indentation as the previous line. I want to do a subpoint of excellent people. So again, to do a subpoint, all I do is I touch on my keyboard the tab button. It indents me to another level in. The size of the font is now shrunk down to size 24. Part of having excellent people is a good work experience. And I'll touch enter again. Staying at the same level of indentation. Part of being excellent people is ongoing training. And I'll touch enter again. Now what I want to do now is I want to move back out to the, the previous level. In other words, I want to be at the same level as excellent people. So to move out a level on my keyboard, I'm going to hold the shift button down and touch tab. That'll bring me back out a level. So to repeat, you use the tab button to move yourself into a lower level. You use the shift and tab button to move yourself back out to a higher level. Part of having quality service is good technology. And I'll touch enter. 
I want this point to be a major point. I want to move back over to the far left again. So to do that, I'm going to hold the shift button down on my keyboard and touch tab. It takes me back out to a major point. And I'll tape in my last point on the slide. And I'm finished. Again, to repeat, to indent your points, you touch tab on your keyboard. To bring your points back out again, it's shift and tab on your keyboard. Click outside the placeholder. And that's how simple it is to create a basic presentation with a title slide and a few text slides in it. So there's some basic information about how you can get started in Microsoft PowerPoint. Get, get your slides started and then just start typing some text in, into your slide. And you can use the information on the video to help you to understand how you indent text in your, in your information, make subpoints, how you outdate, out, how you outdent your text to make, to make back to major points again. We have lots of other videos like this one on our website that will help you become more effective as you use Microsoft applications like PowerPoint, Excel, Word, and so on. Please visit our website. It's www.joecomputertips.com. My name again is Joe Peterson. Thanks for watching today's video.